Hello and welcome to the Reformation Nation podcast, the number one show in Harleysville, Pennsylvania for reaching the culture with the gospel and realigning our lives with biblical values. And on this episode, we'll be clarifying the true meaning of that scary word, judge not, and why it's important to judge. Here is your host, Steve Petrowski. Hey there, folks. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes, we are going to talk about that scary word, that so-called new 11th commandment, judge not. When proclaiming God's truth, you have may encountered, as I have on many occasions, others saying things like, only God can judge me, or as I said, judge not. However, this is Tupac theology, not biblical theology. Right now, I'm here to set the record straight and to clarify the true meaning of Matthew 7, 1, judge not, that ye be not judged. Now, this verse does not mean that we are to remain completely silent, right? We must also not cherry-pick verses either, and I've been guilty of that. I'm sure many of you have. But we must ask ourselves when reading the Bible this, which part of the overall narrative arc does this portion go into? Or in other words, did you read more than just one Bible verse? We're commanded to make disciples, which includes helping others to be grounded in the Word and staying far, far away from sin and false teaching. However, in Matthew 7, we see a clear warning against self-righteousness, hypocrisy, and judging others unfairly. If we're going to correct somebody, then we must expect to be held to the same standard. Even though we remove the beam in our own eye, Jesus still says that we must remove the moat in our brothers. As Christians, we must not have a naive mindset and a lack of discernment. But unfortunately, we see a lack of discernment all far too often here in our culture today. Let us please pray for discernment. Pray that God will open your eyes and that you will not be offended by the gospel truth if you disagree with somebody who's trying to lead you away from falseness and error. Anyway, we are also reminded in John 7, 24, this right here in closing, that... There is a righteous kind of judgment. Yes, we are to use righteous judgment. You have just listened to the Reformation Nation podcast with your host, Steve Petrowski, the number one Christian radio show in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Connect with us at refnation.org. That's R-E-F nation.org. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter to receive our free information. It's very much appreciated. And thank you for listening. Until next time.